As I've said many times before, craft paper pads are my best-selling books. The problem is that you're either dependent on places like Creative Fabrica to get your patterns from, which are accessible to everyone, so your book's not unique unless you make edits, or you've got to design the patterns from scratch by yourself, which takes a lot of time. I'm going to show you a way you can make pages for your craft paper pads in seconds. Now if you don't know what a craft paper pad is, check the link below and I'll show you how to make them and explain what they are and how much money I make from selling them. But briefly, they are pads of patterned paper that people buy to use for scrapbooking and decoupage and things like that. Origami, you know, whatever you need pattern paper for, these books will serve that purpose. So here we are in Mid Journey. This is the paid version of Mid Journey. I pay £10 a month, that's including tax, and I get something like 200 image generations. There is a free version which you can try. You get 25 images. It's good enough to have a play with, but if you want to do something serious like create craft paper or uh, colouring books, which is another good thing you can do with Mid Journey, you should really think about investing even just for a month at the bottom image just to make a few books. So this is an AI image generator and it, for it to generate images, you've got to tell it what to do. And you do that by a series of prompts. So the first prompt we need to put in is slash imagine space and then you get this prompt to fill in now we're going to make a craft paper pad and that is in my case it's repeating patterns set on a theme and that's what i'm going to type into this prompt here so i'm going to put repeating pattern i'll do cactuses cacti illustrations and fun just so you know it, it can have a bit of a laugh with it and here it is generating away it takes a little while but not uh, not long when you consider you get four images from it and here we go here are the four images generated they all tick the box of cactus and fun now before you can use these images in your book you're gonna have to upscale them and that is what the little box underneath mean. Upscale one, two, three, or four. I'll upscale. I'll upscale number three. So what this does is it. These images here, they're all five twelve by five twelve. If you're doing it in a one to one ratio, it's limited to just over one megapixel. If you upscale it for a square, it ups the resolution to. 1024 by 1024 and this is the upscaled image 1024 by 1024 you can also then make further adjustments with the light upscale redo and the beta upscale redo and i'll show you what each of those do so this is the light redo of that image it's the same resolution in this case 1024 by 1024 but it makes the textures a little bit smoother. This is the beta upscale redo. This is 2028 by 2028 in resolution. And again, it smooth, smooths things out. So changing the resolution doesn't just make things crisper, it, it can fundamentally change your image. So experiment and see which one you like best. And see these images here weren't quite what you wanted. See, like image two, you can get variations on image two. So it'll keep some of these aspects the same. I'm imagining it'll keep the background the same, maybe change the style of the plants. And you can do that by clicking V2. And that means variation on two. And this will give us maybe a couple of more examples of this style of cactus. And here is different versions of that cactus image. 
fundamentally the same like I thought they'd have a similar colour background they've just got different sort of cactus plants so it's handy just to experiment and see what sort of images you want to generate and when you find something that you like you can download them by going to your profile page and this is my profile page here are the three images that I upscaled I'm going to download them now simply by clicking on them and then click on the download button there so side by side here are the first two images this is the original upscaled version this is the light upscale version and it's kind of softened some of the colors added a bit more detail in parts I don't know what it's done to that cactus there and now this image on the right is the mega upscale redo and again it's changed aspects of the plant again it's messed that up but it's added a bit more detail around here look there's a few um, texture lines on these bits of plants that aren't on here or here and this pot here has had a bit of a makeover as well which is very nice so pick which one suits your needs best now as a rule it's always better to have a higher resolution especially if you're going to be adjusting images if you start off with a small resolution say the 1024 by 1024 if you stretch that out it might look a bit pixelated as you zoom in high resolution it won't affect that so much but these images aren't svg so you know they the may pixelate when you stretch them out a bit and the good thing about mid journey is that if you have a paid subscription or you've subscribed at any point you are free to use the images in any way you want obviously read the terms of service and make sure you're comfortable with that but it's good to know that you do have commercial rights to use this in just about any way you want so that is it for today's video just a little quick one to show you how you can use ai image gen generation to create craft paper pads by the dozen thanks for watching and i shall see you next time